Worldwide Podcast. Can you feel the power? Can you feel the power? Feel the power of Devil X. Hey, 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 my name is Davis and I'm from Haiti, but I'm living in Dominican Republic. I'm here, Positive Power 21, Jerry Walsh Live, Worldwide. That's right, you tell him, little buddy. What's up, everybody? You're listening to Late Night with Jerry Walsh Live, Worldwide, right here on Positive Power, Double XI. And you got the beautiful Kelly Holland coming out of Charm City. Special guest tonight is Titus Shower. He's here to join us. Tell us a little bit about his his music journey and how he got into it. All right, everybody, so stand by, y'all. Let's bring on the beautiful Kelly, Kelly Holly. Positive power. What's up, Kelly Holly? What's going on? Hey, 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 Baltimore. I'm okay, Batman. How are you? Batman is good. I'm, I'm hanging in there. Yeah, I'm hanging in there. It's, it's weird. <laughs> this is like five weeks for us. It is kind of weird. We just sitting here acting like we're not going crazy. I know. I <laughs> but, like it's, uh... you know, some people still manage to get out. You know, we, we'll find some need to make it to the market. You know, the supplies aren't there that we're looking for. But there's a bunch of other stuff we can roam around and look for as long as we look like we're um, in some type of containment outfit. Right. You want to. <laughs> so what you want to do, you want to start from your head to toe. Right. That's right. So and you want to wear some type of hat. You want to wear yeah. glasses, a mask. It changes. Um, I think a scarf because <laughs> me personally, I'm from the old school. You can get sick of your neck, especially with this, this weather acting yeah. funky. You know, it'd be sunny. And next thing you know, it's raining and windy like it was today. <laughs> so yeah. a scarf, you need some gloves. Um, and I think long sleeve. And pants should do it. I saw some people with trash bags around their feet. <laughs> <laughs> I know you saw the memes out there, Batman. Some yeah. of these people mm. are just ridiculous. Yes, yeah, it's, it's funny. <laughs> I mean, people can make it make make a joke. I listen to a lot of Trevor Noah, and um, you know, his, mm-hmm. uh, you know, he really he, he really shed lights to everything, especially about him. You know, not being born here. He and he knows politics on both sides of the tracks and it's so, so funny well. uh, yeah so he, he well, knows. Right? oh yeah. man i learned so much from him even when he was on a breakfast club it was so interesting listening to him dialogue with them because he was in control of the conversation which is is not you know it's not easy to do uh with charlamagne <laughs> he does that though and he does it in like a mild way yes. oh yeah with charlamagne oh my gosh yeah. but yeah trevor noah's delivery is is always factual then he adds in comedy but it's, it's some it's, it comes across meek and humble at the same time. But he demands authority. Yeah. I, I've seen him live. Have you seen him? Any of no, shows? no. But yeah, I, I watch this show a lot. But I catch a lot of it on YouTube. You know, I'm a big time YouTuber. Mm-hmm. You know? So uh, yeah, yeah, I really enjoy. I mean, he he's made me smarter. <laughs> just I say, if I want to go to school and I want to know what's up in politics and in the world, I just tune into him. He's like a teacher. He's he's my professor. I have to, I'm gonna have to tell him that too. He, I'm gonna get him on. Oh, that, yeah. that's that's such an honor. You have to reach out to him. See if we get him on late That'd night. Be nice. Yeah, and you know that was, would be awesome. It, it was so funny now is that it kind of remind. I kind of feel like we we in biological warfare right now because you you know you're getting you're seeing videos come <laughs> through about the the FBI making arrests and then you you're, you're hearing how New York is going down just like we was watching that movie with Gerard Butler you know the White House going angel going mm. falling angel down whatever's down you feel like that yeah, is kind of happening yeah. right now because then with the the five G network talk because if, if everybody look at the timeline, this same thing had happened before with four G. Yeah, remember with four G? Did the swine flu? Wait, 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 wait! I got one even better for you. Right, ooh, hit, hit, ooh, hit SARS. This, this is this is connected to SARS. Um, that was another strain of coronavirus that came out years ago in the animals. Now mm. animals and people can get this COVID. I just submitted a paper to um, you know I'm still in school. Lord right. help me. I just submitted a paper, um, a policy brief, actually, based off of the um, International Money Fund. They updated with the UN, Mm -hmm. those other government officials. And the information that the CDC reported, check this out, Batman, the highest numbers of deaths and and contagiousness is in America and Europe, that that, that non-melanin skin. The darker the skin, the lower the count. When you get to Africa, it's almost non-existent. So then somebody had 
the, the main idea that they want to do some testing in Africa. I said, don't, no, you don't. Don't, don't you dare bring that down to our state. Yeah, it's record in Bola, right. Cause you know, cause it, you're, you're right. Because you know, when you look at the, um, the piece they did on the Ebola, especially that movie called Pandemic, it really covers mm-hmm. a lot. They showed how it broke out in, 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 I think Nigeria, which is a very crowded city mm-hmm. streets. You know, it's like hundreds of people, thousands of people all day. And they, they still were, were able to, uh, quarantine and get the people the vaccine and get people healthy with just the uh i guess the world um uh disease control people and and then just still just that one guy had left and went to america in dollars and they were able to contain him and basically they, they it was it was under control but that ebola thing could have been huge you know could have been huge it really could, but it was somehow it was contained, right? right? But this is started in January in China, and now you got Mister So and So saying all type of ignorant comments, and you know he's just whack all the time. So that's what <laughs> happened when um, people are lying. They know, you know right? when they know the <laughs> truth, and they're trying to play uh-huh. you. That's why they're trying to play us, and you know. I mean, people, it's out there. You know, social media, trap. one person who knows the truth, you know, get on that little whistleblowing tip, you know, it's out there, you know, it's, and you can't mm-hmm. bring it back. It's, it's so much, you know, that's going on. So the main thing right now, we try to keep it positive on positive power, but we do want to keep people informed. We want you guys to try to stay safe, stay indoors. If you have to go out, like I had mm-hmm. to go out to get medication Two, well, one was delivered, mm-hmm. then I had to make another run a day. But also, the schools were providing lunch for the uh, for the high school students, and they was trying to get food away. I mean, I've been coming home with four and five bags because they they getting a, the, the food services is, is really providing um a breakfast, lunch, yeah. and dinner, and it's almost like it's it's more than what you can handle. So um. And, doing you know job. what? And then it's like, where was all this food when, when, when we just drive down the street and see our, you know, neighbor, you know, panhandling and whatnot? Where was all of this help? <laughs> <laughs> I know. Now, now they got, I'm they found wondering. the money. Right. They found the money now. And then the, the money is available, you know, to help people. So, That's another yeah, thing. Yeah. yeah like yeah. two trillion coming out and That's everybody's right. getting $1,200. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, look, it's almost our time really? is up for you and I. I'm, I'm going to go ahead and we're going to turn it over uh, to you and, and our guests. And we appreciate everybody tuning in to Positive Power Double XI Late Night with Jerry's Live. And don't forget, everybody, mm-hmm. um, we appreciate everybody that tuned in and gave us shout outs with the release of the domestic violence piece we did called DV. It aired on the Earth Channel. So we're going to be uh, doing a lot of projects uh, with uh, Comcast 25 in Atlanta, Georgia. So we appreciate you guys, um, you know, supporting us with that because, you know, we got five TV shows running on that and, and we have a children's project that's coming up real soon too. So, uh, shout out to the Cab 25 and Atlanta, Georgia and, and everybody that's, uh, been supporting our projects. All right. So let's open the doors for Mr. Titus. What's going on, Mr. Titus? Welcome to Positive Power Late Night. How you doing, sir? I am well. Honored to be on the show with you guys. Thanks for having me. Amen, amen. Oh, thanks for being here. I right, appreciate you, sir. And look, I'm I'm going to be stand. I'm just going to stand back and be a uh, part of the audience. So if you guys need me, I'll be right here. And of course, we do have his music uh, to be played at the end of the show. Okay, uh, Kelly, you got that? Oh, sounds good. All right. Sounds good. I hope we can hear a few songs. I see some of my friends on his bio, so I'm just curious to ask so many questions. Yeah, I'm going to pull them, <laughs> to pull them up on Spotify mm-hmm. there so we can get it out there. All right, but thank you, Mr. Tice, for joining me. Yes, and we hope to have you, um, have you back again. Amen. Thanks for having me. Appreciate it, my man. Thanks so much. All right. Well, hello and good evening, Mr. Titus Showers. How are you tonight? Again, one more time for the lovely people. I am well. How are you doing tonight, Miss Kelly? Blessings on you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I am well, sir. I am just astonished by your bio here, and I don't think I could do it any service to sit here and give you this long intro. I think it would be best if you, sir, come on out and tell the people who you are and what it is that you do. Well, um, my name is Titus Showers from Hammond, Louisiana. Um, mm-hmm. I'm from a two-time Stellar-nominated group, the Showers, which happened to be my sisters and brothers and I. Um, and then mm-hmm. I fell off into my solo career in May of 2019, and the Lord has doing a great work. The Lord is doing and has done a great work with my solo debut album, and I'm just excited about all the wonderful things 
that he has in store for me. Um, my my father is a pastor. My big brother is a pastor, and I'm just a a guy who really loves the Lord and really try to do what I can do to help those who are in the so. <laughs> that's Praise <me>. God. <laughs> Praise God. And to be honest with you listeners, that's not even a tenth of what it is that this brother does. I just can't stop. I'm just reading and reading and reading. I said, Jesus, <laughs> this this man is certified here. He don't just have a dream and a passion. He he is working in it and and it's being acknowledged on a major way. Without us getting too far into your business business, Mr. Showers. I, it looks like, you know, you've always had the upbringing of the church and you were all, you came up all through music, but was it difficult stepping out on your own? Um, definitely it was a transition for me, um, but it wasn't as difficult as I thought it would be because um, having mm-hmm. the support of your family members um, made mm-hmm. it so much easier for me because um, you hear all the time um, families fall out because this person yeah. left or this person did that. Um, that was no bickering. That was no um, rebuttal. Everybody was for me and they supported me 100%. It's just an adjustment on the road being by myself. A lot of times my mm-hmm. manager or my assistant would travel with me, but um, just, that's the only adjustment, just traveling alone a lot. And um, mm-hmm. But thank God that he's making it work for my good. Absolutely, for your good. Is it difficult finding work or is it just so much work you can't even sleep? Like, I'm just curious about the schedule of you very busy people. You're so popular and all. Like, are, is it always a go? Do you ever have any personal time? Well, definitely it was a go, and I was excited about that go. Um, that was a dream come true just to be going every weekend away from home, home traveling here and there. It's definitely an experience, but still you want to come home and tuck your son in bed and, and you know, mm-hmm. go out with your girl, you know, and do the daily activities, going to the movies. and whining and dining her. Um, so I, I had to get a balance. <laughs> um, definitely had to create a balance at that. You know, I have a daughter who's in college and I have a son who's in um, junior high school. So okay. I make sure I spend that time with them during the week. I know I'm traveling on the weekends. I make sure I put mm-hmm. in my time every day. We converse and even with, you know, even if in the relationship, you make sure, you know, converse with your girl every day, you know, and make sure everything's all right. Just to keep the confusion down, no no arguments. So, because I don't like to argue at all, I right? I don't have time for all that. <laughs> okay, all that noise. <laughs> I definitely understand. I definitely understand. But it takes it takes life experiences to get there, right? <laughs> Absolutely. Unless you have yeah, always cool. been meek. Absolutely, I agree. How do you feel when you're making sure you take out time for your queen and you take out time for your family? How do you feel Feel when you get around these big labels, these big um, singers and actors, these industry people, do you, is there a change? Is there a shift, or or is that just family to you too? Is it regular? How is it? Well, it's definitely an experience because you see these people on TV, and um, you want to experience. You know, you you actually vibe to their music, and meeting them face to face is definitely um, a humbling experience. So um, I don't ever, I'm never one of those type that bum rush cats or ask for pictures. I'm just humble and I I give respect. And, you know, and um, what makes it easy for me is when they know who I am. <laughs> mm-hmm. If they know who I am, that really, really makes it easy for me when that way we can have great conversations. And that's just another humbling experience. Like, man, I'm in, I love your music and you know who Lit Titus Showers is. And I'm just mm-hmm. humble, and humble by that. And um, that makes it, the relationship easy. But definitely I'm not um, anti so. So I definitely socialize okay. and I definitely support. I definitely be a great supporter, but, you know, at the same mm-hmm. time, I don't want to make it seem like I'm this big. Um, um, I don't want to say that word, groupie. But um, <laughs> yeah, I don't see that at all. <laughs> you made it very clear. I don't push up on them. Um, <laughs> right, 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 right. I don't rush them. I just let it happen genuinely, you know. Mm-hmm. <laughs> the conversation me. will go in a uh, better way too i've always noticed that when you ever interact with people sometimes people get so starstruck they they lose themselves for their name like i never thought that was real till i saw it for myself did you ever see that before did anybody ever 
Oh my gosh. <laughs> I, I, you know, I, I, I have a couple of oh my gosh moments back at home. Really? I'm from a small town, Hammond, Louisiana. We're in between uh-huh. Baton Rouge and New Orleans. And I get the mm-hmm. little kids in stores and Walmart. Oh, you oh. can so they can take pictures and hug me. And I'm that's so humbled nice. by that. And, and, you know, that's a that's wonderful nice. experience. I would, I cherish that because without, without them, I'm nothing. Without, if I have an artist in the world, be honest, without, you know, mm-hmm. radio personality such as yourself, mm-hmm. um, without mm-hmm. the fans, you are nothing. So I'm just humbled by every opportunity that God has given me, and I cherish it. I promise you I do. Awesome. I appreciate the hum- the humility there, and, and I'm glad that you're there because I think your success is predicated on your meekness, you know? Um, right. And I may, you agree? It, I feel the same way, and I feel that um, persons that uh, they get aggressive to some extent, they I don't think they cut for it. You know, I don't think they cut that's for right, it. That's right. <laughs> okay, that's let me right. ask that's you right. this: Were you uh, were you always a God fearing man? Did you ever have a moment where you weren't quite the you were not quite the model Christian? <laughs> Well, you know, we all have our. You can be real brief about that, it. okay? We all have. Our, <laughs> I mean, I I can can carry it. Right? Yeah, it wasn't always. I saint. grew up in the home. You know, I grew up in the house. I mean, I'm never always a saint because all of us have our our weak moments. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And that causes us to to our faith to waver. So, I was a PK mm-hmm. saint, and I grew up that way. But I stayed that way. I never really strayed away. I'm not telling you I ain't never been to the club. You know what I'm saying? I, I'm not telling you. Uh, I'm, I'm always that. curious. Never, what do y'all do for fun? <laughs> I never, I never was a drinker. You know what I'm saying? Okay. I, I never smoked. I never drink because I always thought that would mess up my boy. So I, you okay. know, but I did. You know, here's a secret. Now I'm, I'm a man, <laughs> and I think, and I think women are amazing, and that's all I'm okay. saying. We can move on. <laughs> <laughs> Like everybody had advice. Everybody had advice. Everybody. And I understand. So that's your poison, huh? I'm so glad you got your queen over there. Yes, indeed. So, yeah, absolutely. So, yes, I definitely have that, and that keeps me grounded. But just, you know, mm-hmm. um, I, like I tell cats, I don't have to deal with what you deal with, and you don't have to deal mm-hmm. with what I, I've gone through. Um, but I just don't. Um, um, go down on you, or, or what well, should I say, um, hold you hostage because of something that you do different than I do. You get what I'm right, saying? Right, praise God. You know, we so, are all different, so but we, in we all have together. our struggles. Absolutely. Uh-huh. Yes, indeed. Mm-hmm. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> That's great to hear. I want to ask you an industry question. I know I'm bouncing around here. Um, Let's get it. But I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm just so curious about the business. How much time did it take as a solo artist to build yourself up or were those doors already open for you since you came out of a group? There you go. Those doors were open because of the family. Mm-hmm. And, um, but even coming in as the family, we had to learn a business. And my sister, who was the president of our independent company, um, A&P Crazy. Records, she learned the business and she knows how to do it. She had everything, the ducks in a row. It was, it was mm-hmm. secondly, Secondary is about your gift. Primary is about the business. Because if you have bad business, and um, your gift means nothing. Because think about this. <laughs> just really pump it in. You have the, the guy that's on drugs or the homeless person who can outsee uh-huh. you or who's gifted more than you, but they don't have their business in order. They have fallen by the wayside. They have allowed drugs or whatever to affect their lives. But if you have mm-hmm. your stuff in order and your gift in order, man, and God just truly blesses it all the more. And um, I thank God for my sister who learned the business side of everything. Mm-hmm. And, it, and it made me so made it so much easier for me to release my album on May the 19th. And it was the number one gospel album in the country. You know, it was I just see. people your name for being around with your family. So thank God for that. And he's being humble, you all. But we're just going to stop and say thank you, Lord, too. Because he over here with <laughs> debut on a billboard. Debut on the Nielsen, number one, number one each time. Yeah. Number one on the Billboard Top Indie. <laughs> Here go another one, Billboard Emergent. Here go another one, Billboard All Time. You, you sh- 
showing off. Thank you, God. <laughs> thank you, God. God is awesome, man. And I thank him for that, man. That was a huge honor. And, and I definitely have to pinch myself um, when I mm-hmm. heard this breaking news. I was in New York City at a listening party at the World Trade Center. So I was oh, crying in front of guests at a listening <laughs> party. And I got the breaking news from my marketing person, my my guy, uh-huh. Mr. Jason, called us live and told us that my album was number one. So come on. Oh, man, I, cried. I called my mama and just cried with my mom, you know, so God is truly amazing. And he promised that he would continue to do this if we remain faithful to him. Yes, Lord. Let me ask you this. When you're younger and you're coming up and, you know, you're getting a little bit of money, getting a little little taste of adulthood. You set your eye on things. You set your eye on goals. Um, some people may be a car. Some people may be a house. Some may be both and in that order or however it goes. Was there ever something that you dreamt of and you thought that was far-fetched that now you look back and say, God gave me that and more? What was that thing? Wow. Uh We're growing up, you know, we grew up in a situation where, you know, we didn't have much. And and definitely my parents always had a dream of things getting better and and just being humbled. And and my father always told us to treat the Lord right first. And he would Mm -hmm. open those windows of heaven, just like the Bible Mm -hmm. did. And we... You didn't see that in the beginning, you know, there's 10 of us. So, and my parents grew up in a, <laughs> we grew up in this four bedroom home and one and a half bath. And it just doesn't seem right how we made it. But look what God did in 1998. He gave us bigger. He gave us the house. He gave us the home, the vehicles. And all of that stuff came because we were faithful to God. And then yes, I love Lord. what the Bible says about that. He says, my soul shall make a boast in the Lord. So as long mm. as you're bragging in Jesus about Jesus, he's going to continue to pour unto you his blessings because he said he promised you all of these things. You just got to do what you need to do in order to get what, it's promised, what he promised to us. So definitely, oh. man, that was dream come true. <laughs> Jesus. Obedience. Okay. If y'all missed it, that's Absolutely. the point. <laughs> there it is. Obedience. There it is. Just okay. that word, man. And that's, mm. that's, that's the key. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, thank you so much. But thank you so much for sharing that. Um, you know, for me, it was, um, I was I was very vain. I, I went for a car. Lord, if you give me this car, <laughs> I know that all my dreams are accomplishable. And then I got the car and I'm like, whoa, it's, I'm kind of young. <laughs> what else can I do, Lord? <laughs> you know, what, what else can I search for, God? And I found, you know, I found that it, it was it was it was a good time. It was a good time because I was able to see his works. And I know I know some people may say, Well, you, you put that on material. I sure did. That that's what I wanted. <laughs> well, <laughs> you know, absolutely. that that's what I wanted. Who's gonna pretend to say they never wanted nothing and say, Lord, if you give me this, Lord, if I hit the number, Lord <laughs> you know right, right, we, right, we get like absolutely. that. Let absolutely. me ask you this. We try him. Absolutely. We do try him. And so some people sit there and they say, um, if I hit the number, I'll give it to the church. <laughs> You're not about to outsmart God. You better sit I'll hear, down. <laughs> I'll be trying to get him to play your numbers for you. Sit your brother. You know? <laughs> God is not a genie. You know? No, no, no. No, 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 no. No, indeed. No, okay. Indeed. <laughs> what about, have you ever come across those people that try to use God as their personal body? God, like, get them, God. Like, they'd be like, sick them, Jesus. Wow. Like, have you ever heard that mess? <laughs> wow. When I sit well, back, that, you know, I think I think it's too simple. <laughs> you, you haven't even come close <laughs> to him or is his name. But do you ever come by people and they're in the industry, but <laughs> now you don't have to say any names. <laughs> they're yeah, in the gospel not, industry, man. but they're not in that gospel life. Do you ever come across wow. the gospel frauds? <laughs> My, my, my. Um, there, there are so much of covering that goes on, and um, um, you don't want to expose um anybody's covering, but a lot of them mm-hmm. showcase it and don't care the fact that you wow. don't. Um, but, you know, so you definitely have to, you definitely have to be careful of of of, of how you display um your character because your character mm-hmm. is important and it turns people off. Um, you just doing what. You 
what you want to do and don't care about who knows about it. At least you can mm-hmm. be secretive. But we know God knows. We know God knows everything. Always. And, and, we had and, 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 but but when you not when you're not hiding it from him and you're not trying to hide hide it from judgmental people, it really makes it um, a bad look on the on the on the wh- who you're really working for. And so if you remind <laughs> yourself who you're working for, you know you will not be trying mm-hmm. to expose yourself to that kind of activity. So um, but it is out there, but I don't know of any. <laughs> <laughs> Praise God. He said they not in my circle. He did a pew check, y'all. He did he looked to the right. <laughs> he looked to hey, the left and his pew was safe. Okay. Absolutely. <laughs> he he on my hear that from me at home. Okay. No, no. Okay. That's I say, don't say no names now, because I'm just mm-hmm. curious. You know, you have an inside scoop. Me, I'm a I'm the type of church goer. I want my house to be a place of worship, a place of being fed, a place of good leadership. So it took me time as an adult. You know, when you're a child, you get, well, I'm sure you know, you just take it to church <laughs> before you know what my, church my, my. is. <laughs> okay. Yes, Let me ask you real quick, real quick. How many days of the week did you not go to church? Let me just make sure. Wow. Let- let me let me really ponder that because you gotta. Oh I just my jump God. shit from so my other seven questions. Seven days in a week, so it's right? Days. All right, I'll give you four days that I didn't go, but you gotta take into consideration my pops did a lot of revival, so there were some weeks mm. I went um, six nights because five night revivals back in the gap. Right now we do the new church two, three days, two or three, three night revival. Right. <laughs> but back then they used to do five night revivals, and my dad was a great gospel preacher. So we was with yes, him every sir. night. <laughs> so I give you, I give you, I give you four not at church, but on revival week we'll give you one day. How about that? <laughs> <laughs> That's right. I know. If I, I know. told you my schedule, right? You 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 would look at me like and you call yourself a Christian. You, that's how you want me to back me. No, you don't, I go to nine thirty service. Amen. But you know the fact though, um, we was leading <laughs> worship for my pop, so it really caused us to have to be there and and be dedicated. And oh, you praise and worship. We really me. got our story. Right. That's what we got. Oh. Our story. So we were oh, singing right. in church, and then, you know, uh-huh. and we was all sisters and brothers, so mom and dad had 10 of us, and so we all just oh. fell in line as parents kept having us, so there it is. Oh, my so gosh. You never had a boring moment, huh? 10 siblings? Never. Never. Even in the midst of this pandemic, we still have them. <laughs> and fun, too. I'm telling you, it's a blessing. I promise you. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> I love it. I feel like it's a blessing too. If you you know, you keeping yourself safe and clean, washing your hands and all that mess. Uh all that good stuff, good advice, excuse me. It's good to have family. You know, a lot of people are cooking more, um, meals are coming out, the kitchen now, no more fast food, not like it used to be, you know. Yeah. Um and, and 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 even though this is a pandemic right now, I I see some good in it. People are coming together, um, persons with health rest please stay in the house um you you are targeted by this disease <laughs> if there's no other way to put it yeah so um if you know your health is 80 percent or you know stay home <laughs> what are you doing during this definitely, time definitely um just i've been writing a lot i've been on the pen mm-hmm. and and doing those things of keep practicing um keep singing i'm just ready mm-hmm. for it to be old to be honest, but definitely been studying my Bible. My my dad has been having um conference Bible studies with the church members. Praise and on God. Sundays and on Sundays it'd be me and my dad and my mom and I have my musicians there and it's about um ten of us total at church just mm-hmm. because we practice in social distancing and following mm-hmm. the laws of the land like the Bible says. And um, okay. we'll have worship <laughs> and Facebook live and definitely uh-huh. he has churches and sometimes we at the other church he did a drive up service like a drive up movie and it was really dope it was the, <laughs> the people of god were talking their horns in agreeance to the word of god and we saw yes. people would drive up and hear the word outside it was a blessing so we oh that's to, beautiful uh, <laughs> i shared it on my social media outlet so you you're welcome to go and check it out and definitely uh, we you know about the day with family <laughs> we've been with family a lot 
man. It's ten of us. So mm-hmm. my mama biscuits, we will have that, and and then we we'll cook dinner. Did you, you know, say my mama biscuits? Not my, my mama, mama biscuits. biscuits. Yeah. My, my mama oh, biscuits. I'm doing a happy food dance. <laughs> you know that dance. <laughs> Absolutely. Okay. And we've been doing it, and we've been working out, too, because we don't want to mess oh, around and, and come out a different person. Then we, we okay. Even. Okay. Some ain't going to be the same, honey. Right. <laughs> it's oh, yes, going to be the same. I uh, <laughs> recently started walking this week. Praise God. He gave me the energy. Yesterday, I limped. Back to the car today. I wasn't limping. Hallelujah. <laughs> there it is. Look at you. Okay. Look at you. He made you a new creature. That's my sort. Okay. Right. There it is. You keep it up now. I you're love gonna be, it. You're going to be running three miles a day. Look at you. Showing off. <laughs> Look what God did. <laughs> you know what? I'm having so much fun with you right now. Listeners, if you are just joining us, I am on the line with Mr. Titus Showers. You know him. He's been on the scene for quite some time. He's been putting out music with his family almost forever. And now he is a solo artist hitting all the top billboard charts of his albums, of his songs. He is a force to be reckoned with. Sir, I have a question for you. Yes, ma'am. Can you cook? You down there? Absolutely and all that not. Good- <laughs> I cannot. Oh, what? What? All of this Southern hospitality. <laughs> but I can definitely, like I said, I can get you my mama bills. Houston, I can take it out of my mouth, and we can definitely get you something to eat now. You know? <laughs> he said, I can feed you, but I'm not the chef. <laughs> I'm not the chef at all. We can definitely get you something to eat. I promise you that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Definitely. We gonna say, hey, if you can feed me, we're going to be all right then. We're going to be all right. Be, I'll take care of you. I promise you, Kevin. <laughs> so somebody, I thank you so much. I appreciate it. Somebody just dropped you stats on me and I feel like it's 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 going to be all right maybe we should start with that song what is your inspiration behind it's going to be all right let it, let the listeners know where that song came from wow it came from a tragic experience in March of 2017 my parents hmm. lost their home um the dream home to a fire um definitely God just kept waking me up in the middle of the night and giving me something to say and I would write it down and sh- share it on a pen and give it to my producer. And he was like, okay, man. I mean, every day he was just waking me up. And after that tragic experience, he just encouraged me to let me know that everything's going to be all right. I know it don't look good and Mm -hmm. you lost all of your material possessions, but everything Mm -hmm. is going to be all right because I promise you that I will never leave you nor forsake you. So thank God Mm. for the life that I've given you. And here it is, son. Everything is going to be all right. And he definitely has made everything go Right. <laughs> well, you set that up so well, and it just says anybody that stuff can go. So do not attach yourself to it. If God gave it to you, you'll get that and more. Amen. Amen. Absolutely. Amen. All righty, we are going to take a minute to play your song. I, I don't think we need to set it up any better than that. You said nothing. Bad, you said everything good, and that's why it's going to be all right. This is this going to be all right by Titus Shalish, y'all, on Power Double X Five. You're listening to Junior Slide Worldwide Podcast. I know it's going to be all right. Listen if you will. It's working for me. Every 
recently made my life brand new. Uh -huh. You changed all my wrongs and gave me a brand new song. That's why I depend on you. Cause I know you. All right, all right. And that was It's Gonna Be All Right. I think that's the perfect song for the times right now. Do you agree? <laughs> Absolutely. Thank you, God, for his timing and this great release mm -hmm. of this song because it's definitely encouraging everybody in the midst of this pandemic that everything is going to be all right. Um, God just yes, speaking Lord. to us loud and clear, and um, we need to listen to what he is saying. And um, mm -hmm. But I know everybody is going through their own tragic experience, but God mm -hmm. is still speaking, and he specializes in the impossible, and it's going to be okay. all right. This, there it is. I couldn't have said it any better. <laughs> he said, all right. <laughs> so I want to ask you, there's a lot of things being impacted right now, um, but m the Stellars, right, I, they, they canceled mm -hmm. it this year, right? And so that's strange. That's never happened before. This is the first time in history. How do you feel that affected the economy and mental health of folks? Well, definitely. Um, they supposedly rescheduled it to August, but I haven't heard mm -hmm. of the latest or anything else after that because mm -hmm. of the pandemic. And definitely it's a um, great effect on the economy, a great effect on um, different orders. And definitely um, we have to just find another way to make sure we um, share God's gift with the people of God. Um, I'm thankful mm -hmm. myself in the midst of this pandemic that I have my own business. You know, um, my brother and I have a mental health business and um, mm -hmm. we see um, we, um, we do assistance to kids from the ages of five to 24 that are dealing with mm -hmm. anxiety, bullying, definitely all those type of things. And we have about 300 kids that we see and we have like 30 employees and I'm thanking God for his um, um, keeping God. me working in the midst of that, you know, and, um, Mm -hmm. And when I travel, I'm very flexible, and definitely um, the family runs the business. I'm able to work for my sister's business. And um, so I'm pretty much you know, I'm still doing everything that I was doing when I was traveling a lot. Um, I'm able to receive my royalty checks, you know, through my um, music, and I'm definitely thankful for that. And I'm just, you mm -hmm. know, just God is awesome in spite yes. of that. But I'm definitely, definitely praying for those who are without and definitely know that God is going to make everything all right. I promise you he's going it's to do that it. that simple. It is really that <laughs> simple. Amen. Amen. I was going to try to segue into your uh, program, but you went ahead and got it right in there. So that was what I was going to ask you. you. You know, in the midst of the economy, definitely. So you better. You said economy, <laughs> that was the perfect and time to health. dabble on mm -hmm. in there. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. yes, 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 sir, it is. Um, I, too, work with that population, and my nonprofit um, is setting up some new things right now in the city um, previous to COVID-19, you know, um, right. trying to draw together communities, you know, and let's take back our neighborhoods and redevelop the community centers that are um, being taken down 
in in such a fast motion, but they're throwing up more jails for juveniles and more casinos, um, but they're taking away right. the neighborhood resources. Wow. Right. So it's important that we are able to um, educate our uh, young brothers and sisters, let them know that they have talent, um, let them know that we can foster those talents, <laughs> let them know that uh-huh. there's a way to make money, and it's not just in music. Um, and there's nothing wrong with music, but I want you to have a skill, baby, you know, some type of Oh, bag. Everybody ain't cut out for this work. How long did it take you to build it? And very quickly, because we got to close. But it, it, I know you didn't come from childhood to success as a man overnight. That thing took time, right? <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Definitely with time, time consuming. Um, my sister has her own business. All of us pretty much mm-hmm. work for each other. And then me mm-hmm. and my brother started this business about five years ago. So it took a minute for it to get off the ground. But thank God that it is it's doing what it's doing now. And we're just expecting mm-hmm. more of the blessings. Absolutely. And I thank you for that. Uh, right before we close, please let the listeners know how they can reach you and where they can find your platforms. Well, you definitely can follow me on all social media outlets on Instagram. I am Titus Showers on Twitter. I am Titus Showers, and on Facebook, you can like my fan page, Titus Showers, and if I can have room on my Facebook page, I go delete some people, just add you. <laughs> <laughs> Praise God. <laughs> Praise God. That's how you do it. Well, brother, we like to close our show in prayer, so I I want to try to pray for this saint over here on the other side of this voice, on the other side of this phone, and then we want to go ahead and enjoy our evening, okay? Absolutely. (laughs) So let's bring it to the Lord. Father God, I thank you for this evening. I thank you for Titus. I thank you for the work you are doing in him and within his family. Lord, it is a a beautiful thing when each other can come together and get your work done in a in a magical type of way, a way that nobody can even understand the miracle. So I thank you, Lord God for showing us just a piece of who you are and for hearing our prayers and for hearing our cries and for knowing our needs and supplying them right when we need them in your perfect time and Lord, Please continue to cover and keep him. Please continue to bless him and look over him. Please let no weapon form against him. Please keep the enemy away from the work, Lord, because we are doing the work for your good. In Jesus' name, I thank you, I praise you, and I wish you nothing but the best, brother. Amen. Blessings on you, and thank you so much for that phone <laughs> time. Bless you, you are welcome. You are welcome. Listeners, we are wrapping up right now. Mr. I am Titus Showers. If you want to reach him after this, will be available. Thank you guys for joining us. This is Kelly Holland, Batman right there on Positive Power, Double XI. Good night, y'all. Worldwide Podcast. I know it's gonna be alright Listen if you will yeah. It's working for my good mm-hmm. It's working for my good Hey Even though I ain't got It's gonna be alright Say it again It's working for my good Gotta do what I can do what I Even though I ain't Grace came and took me in, gave me a resting place. Thank you for amazing grace. You kept on covering me in the midst of all my wrong. You stay right by my side. Your love was my guide. i